Love it. There's another one in there. Can't really see his head, so can we sneak past him? Do you think? Can we sneak past him? I think we might. Oh, I love it! This was so cool! Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, where I play Seven Days to Die modded using Valmod. I nearly said Starvation Mod using Valmod. No, not yet Starvation Mod. Anyway, we're off to a good start. We have found some amazing loot in the last episode, an amazing place to stay in the first episode. Let's see if we can continue the trend and get ourselves started on a workbench and a forge in this episode. Either way, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. One of the things that we want to to do straight away is pick up as much golden rod and food as I already said in the previous episode as much as possible I think these villages here or these cities they have little plots of land where they have a lot of food which should be really good we also need to wrench a couple of cars to get the remaining leather that we need for our bellow now let's see here oh actually mechanical parts wouldn't go amiss so we might as well I took the level 3 wrench with me instead of the higher level one because this one actually had more durability left and more uses believe it or not so let's see. Oh yeah, one of the things that I also want to do, would you just hit him in the noggin? Genie Maka Balls. Hello! Stop missing his head. It's right there. It's like so big. It's all you can see on the screen. Why are you missing it? Okay, here we go. Thank you. That is that is my new uh, range weapon. <laughs> oh my god, they're following me now. It's like feeding a, feeding a cat or a dog. They all come once you pay them any attention. There we go. Don't feed the zombies or they will keep coming for more. Um, oh yes, what I wanted to do before, where I was so interrupted, I wanted to get the bad mechanic. We had five points left. There we go. Let's do it. Nice. Come on. And you as well. There we go. Nice. Okay. Excellent stuff. They're all dead. Oh, nice. There was some good ammunition. Was that a dog? I thought I heard a dog there for a second. So, bad mechanic. Very good. And we're going to uh, collect a couple of these and get some cars for some leather. And the aim for today is to get a workbench going, to get a forge going, and um, also make some crude nails and level of carpentry for a chest. Somebody was mentioning crude nails. I'm going to check that out. Look at this. Crude nails? You can actually make crude nails. Holy balls. You are amazing, guys. That is amazing. Yeah, we're going to actually, I'm going to take you for the rest of this and we're going to check if we can actually get crude nails uh carpentry leveled up through crude nails so what i'm going to do is i'm going to here for carpentry quickly check it out carpentry or if i can't spell it it would be carpentry even so let's see we're here let's queue up some crude nails oh man that is true i could see it move i saw it move they get crafted really quickly i think so we, that, that was really, really quick. They already all crafted. But, because we only had five anyway. But, we're going to take more iron out of there, out of these areas here. And we're going to make some crude nails. Because if that is the way to level up our carpentry, and we can use them then furthermore for uh, carpentry kits, which means dual function. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for the tips. Now we have a good set of nails, actually, that we can do. So let's see. Oh, look at this. This is leveling up like a mad train, like a runaway train. It's shooting, it's shooting, and it's not stopping. Well, it's stopping now because we're out of resources. But look at that. That is amazing. Okay, can we shoot you in the face and you're dead? Oh, he lost his head right away with one shot. I love this. This is what it's all about. Let's get more scrap. We need that scrap to make more crude nails. Unbelievable. Let's see if we can clear this area out. It looks pretty clear. Oh, there's another guy here. There we go. Nice. Come on. Love it. Because these guys, you don't want to get close, especially when you're very young and in the very early levels, because they just completely destroy you. Because their animation is broken, and you don't see them hit when they hit you. Oh, there's something else out there. Somebody that woke up inside? I think so. Oh, look, I can see him through here. Guys, I can see him here. There he is. Oh, look at that. Oh, no way. You have a hole there. We can't hit him. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? We have to go around, guys. There's no choice. But that, that, that is such a tease. You can see his face and you can't hit him because of the block. 
So let's get through the door. That's what we have to do. I hope we can actually sneak in. Maybe we don't trigger him. That would be pretty awesome if we, we actually would manage not to trigger him. Okay, here we go. Oh, love it. There's another one in there. Can't really see his head, so can we sneak past him? Do you think? Can we sneak past him? Oh, I think we might. Oh, I love it! This was so cool! We're like ninjas sneaking in and just killing them before they even wake up. That is fantastic. I love it. Super, super fantastical. And any clothes in here? Anything of interest? Oh, look at that. And we have a... Um, I swear I can hear a dog bark somewhere. It really is getting to me. Let's open this and see what's in it. Whoa, there we go. It's done. Oh, no way, a full shotgun. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is unbelievable. We get, oh, look at that. And that will actually give us leather as well, I think. Do we already have a coat on? No, we don't. So we have a coat here that we can put on if it gets too cold. But we got some leather, which is absolutely sweet. We have the car outside. I still heard some barking. I think it's the wolf. I think the wolves bark. I hear them outside every now and then. I think they're attacking zombies because obviously I'm not being under attack. But we definitely have to get a good look at this car here and see if we can destroy it, get the rest of the leather. And maybe we get lucky and we already get an engine, which would be amazing. Let's see how fast we can actually get to concrete. That would just be ridiculous. How fast can we get to concrete? Oh, cement. That's what it was called. Oh, okay. Concrete mix and cement mixer. I think it's masonry. That's what it is. Yes, masonry. A concrete after the cement mixer needs a solid foundation. It doesn't say how to unlock it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it actually is masonry that unlocks this. Cement mixer, there we go. And we're already at 16, which is fantastic. Learn how to build with stone, level 5, and that's because of the class we chose. Um, I think we chose the builder. No, was it the builder? No, I don't remember. Whichever class we picked, because there's two classes which are actually related to uh, building. And one is a uh, builder and the other one I forgot, which is the one I picked, I think. And that got us all the um, masonry points. I'm gonna leave this car alone because it takes forever to wrench the car. Our stamina is absolutely balls. Um, it just takes way too long like to get anything down because we constantly have to wait. Okay, my mouse is on the fritz because we constantly have to um, you know, wait and rest for stamina to get, to, get, to get back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for food. There's a couple of plots here with food in this town. I know that because every town has it. And look at this. This is delicious. There's a lot of these guys here as well, which is nice. A lot of corn. There's a lot of... And there has to be potatoes here or end or... Um, they, oh, look at that. There it is. Is that the spots? Yes, nice. Okay, here's the spot field. And then we're going to find an area close by to our base where we're going to plant all these guys on hot dirt. And then we're going to have a nice start of a nice little farm going. We're going to get some spots. And I think there's blueberries here as well somewhere. There's a clunky oil place. We don't really need to go into that right now. And um, that is it. There's a cornfield here somewhere. And there's blueberries as well. Oh. We leveled up. I don't know why we leveled up. All we did was pick up junk. <laughs> we didn't really do anything. There's another field over there. Is that another spot field or is that the blueberries? Let me see. Lots well, more potatoes. Okay, why not? Let's take them all. I'm not a picky man. We're still going to have to find the blueberries and the cornfield. There's another field here. Is that more potatoes? Okay, this is more potatoes, but they're not grown yet. Holy balls, how many potatoes are in this place? These guys love their spud. Must have been a little Irish town. <laughs> and look at that, more meat. There we go, very nice, love it. That's exactly why we brought those big guns for those ferocious animals. Let's get some leather and get some meat. Oh, I love it, look at that. Nice, thank you. <sighs> He doesn't like that. Okay, here we go. Ah, yeah, boss. There we go. Nice. Oh, lovely. Right in the foreface. Excellent. Okay. Because I'm absolutely weak right now when it comes to melee. Oh, love it. Okay. I take that. Thank you. 104 potatoes. We're so sorted for potatoes. <laughs> 
We don't need any more potatoes. Where we are going, we don't need no spuds. There's a little tent over there. We're going to leave that alone. I'm just going to do a little run around. And then we're going to go back and we're going to craft the... Oh, Lazy H. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, that sounded really vicious. Come on. Come on. I want to know if that building is special. I mean, it says Lazy H, so it has to be special. I think we can actually craft a better weapon because I, up up I upgraded weaponsmithing. So it should be able to give me actually a 100 weapon. Let's see that. There we go. Wooden club craft. Can actually scrap this. I think the one we, we can craft here is going to be better. Okay, let's blow this barn wide open. Oh, nice. A pity he wasn't there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. I'm wasting all those bullets. But it's fun. It's fun. It's all good fun. There we go. Very nice. Let's just open it up up top here and hope nothing collapses on top of us. I think we're going to be okay. Can hear footsteps. Are they coming for me? No? Okay, good. There we go. Oh, he died. Very nice. Exactly what we needed. And there's more leather here. Hello. You can't jump over there, can you? You don't know how to. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I have a big old club here that can help you out with that. Nice. I think I found the berries. No, more potatoes. Okay, fair enough. What is that? We gotta have 200 potatoes and no blueberries. But I wanted to make blueberry pie. So we need we need corn. We need blueberries. Potatoes are no good without loads of meat and corn as well. So we definitely need a cornfield. Come on. Yeah, sorry there, dude. I'm literally not even going to have the time for you. Sorry. <laughs> Well, this place is really nice. This is the big house that we actually, like, come past from our base. And I thought, well, we should probably sneak into there and see if they have any leather couches. And so they do. So there's some free leather as well. Very nice. I like it. Do we have any recipes or any books in here? No, we don't. What is behind this door? It looks suspicious because it's nailed shut. There we go. Get some more crude nails. Oh. Is that a dog? No, okay, you, you can knock on that door, that's fine. I just let you knock down that window. That's okay, you just do that. Okay, it's locked. And nobody behind us, okay. Oh, nice leather couch. Love it. That is fantastic. Okay, we got all the leather we need now, guys. I think it's time for us to split. I know there's a, there's a safe as well. Oh, nice, there's a drink. I was looking for a drink. Okay, now we're gonna have to deal with this guy. Whoa! Balls, okay. Oh, mid-air! Did you see that? Oh, man, I love it! One in the chest, he falls, for he falls forward and right in the face. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And we're nearly dead. We need something to, to heal ourselves, which we don't have. So we probably should get into a safer area than locking ourselves into a room. Wow, these desks have a lot of room. They have like serious amount of room. Okay, let's see if we can open that. Here we go. Paper. Oh, parts of compound bow. That's not bad. Don't have the book yet. Can't assemble it, but hey-ho. And take these guys with us. Yeah, we're gonna go back home, guys. I'm gonna just quickly loot here if I can, because there's more leather sofas and there's some wash machines, which I think can have good loot in them. There we go. We're gonna scrap that. Very nice. I love it. And we're gonna get these guys for leather and for wood. Look at that. Beautiful. I think we have over 20 leather already on us. So that was a very good choice to start going in here because we got plenty of leather now. We think we can even make two bellows at this rate. We actually found some work, uh, some nails, and we had some nails here as well. So we could use the nails to make a work workbench. I just made a bellow as well. So we should be able to get the forge done and the workbench in this episode. Now, before it's over, let me see. Lump of clay, we have that here. Okay, we have the clay. What else do we need? Clay, stone, we definitely have the stone. There we go. And that's it. Look at that. Can craft that. Beautiful. I like it. And what about the workbench? Workbench. We need. We have that. And. Oh, I don't know if we have 300. Oh, we do. This is beautiful. 
Look at that, and we can make the workbench. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, we definitely want to make one of those when we start having money because we can buy things in there. I don't think we can sell things to it. We can only buy things from it. All right, look at this. We're already getting sorted out. Now, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to get more wood, and then hopefully this will be the end of it. This is awesome. We can craft this. So I'm going to have to do some gathering between episodes now, so I'm going to have to leave this episode here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. So this is looking like nicely. There we go. Workbench. Brilliant. Lovely. Things are coming together. Yes, this is where I'm probably going to start building and put some support up so that we don't die. <laughs> so let's see. Nice. Oh, I love it. We can finally do things. Oh, I don't know what it is yet exactly we can do, but we can do things, which is amazing. I love being able to do things. And especially the forge and this guy here. We can finally boil some water. Boil water? Oh, we need a cooking pot. But you know what? We can make a cooking pot now. All we have to do is put some iron in and put some clay in. And that's the end of it. Where's my handbag? There's my handbag. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's do this. Yes, and because I'm a complete idiot jumping between too many games, between the stream game and um, the other games, I forgot that I have a cement mixer because that is my class and that's how I started. So we probably should put the cement mixer down here and uh, use it. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Look at that. We can already make things with it. That is beautiful. We can make cement from this soon once it's unlocked. And then we can start making concrete mix. It's going to be amazing. This is our little hovel where we're going to get set up.